middle of winter, we've got a great dish just for two people. If you want to have it for a nice party, you can, but this really makes it romantic, special for two people. I'm using a filet of beef with oysters and um, a little bit of gravy, some potatoes and carrots. It's really rich, but also luxurious this time of year. So I'm going to show you how to do this. The steps are really easy. Make sure that you preheat your oven at least to 400. All right, our oven's already preheated. We got our new potatoes here. Been washed off, nice red new potatoes. Red, of course, for Valentine's. Nice waxy potato. I'm cutting them about a quarter of an inch in width for my new potatoes. When you get to the end like this, it gets a little sketchy, right? You can just take your knife, make a little wedge in there, right? And then go the other way. There you go. Saving your finger. Once again, keep cutting through, quarter of an inch. One potato per person is gonna be fine on this. It's all you need. And then once again, when you get to that point, everybody's like, what do I do? Just go halfway and then put your hand on both sides and that helps you stabilize it. So those are cuts of potatoes. Now the thing we're going to have is a carrot. I peel the carrot. We're going to make nice romantic ribbons with this. So you're going to take your peeler and just keep going like this to get all these nice ribbons. It's really simple. It's just taking the width-wise of your carrot and just using your peeler. They don't have to be perfect. And if I get too much on one side, just turn it on the other side and just keep doing some nice peels without getting your finger, of course. Now, when I get to this part, I can do some more ribbons. Nice and easy. The bigger carrot, the bigger the ribbons you're going to have. But these are going to cook really fast, but they give us some nice uh, texture to this. And that's our carrot ribbons. All right, here we go, our pan. We're going to turn our flame on underneath to high heat and we're going to put in our potatoes, spread them out, real simple. Then you're going to cover them with some water. Now, these are going to come up to a simmer, and they're going to simmer for five minutes. All right, boil in for five minutes, turn that off, and we're going to drain them. So take those and drain them. Get all that liquid out of there. And you want to keep the pan hot, of course. There you go. The last two in there. Drain that out. This is going to go back on the flame. Turn it back up to high heat. All right. Now, this is going to dry out for a minute. All right. We're going to move these off to the side, keep the flame hot, and we're going to spray it a little bit with some Pam or non-stick olive, olive oil will work. Spray. Now, keep that on high heat. That's where we're going to put in our fillets. Nice two fillets on one side of the pan, one and two. Look at these nice fillets. If you can get the aged ones, it's even better. But these are nice beef fillet or beef tenderloin. Leave that on high heat. Keeping it on high heat, salt. Fresh cracked pepper is great, or black pepper, all around. There we go. Keep that on high heat. I'm going to let this go for at least five minutes on each side on the meat. So this, this meat's got uh, like four more minutes on this side. All right, five minutes on one side. Let's flip it to the other side. Nice. Potatoes are on one side. That's okay if they stick a little bit. Don't worry about it. We just want to sear off our meat here. And on the other side, of course, we want to season that. Salt. Some more pepper on the other side. Those look great. These tenderloins are so nice. So tender, of course. The filet, it's a special occasion, so they're definitely worth it. Really expensive to eat this every day, but for a nice occasion like this, it's time to splurge for the filet. Let's keep that going on five more minutes on this side. I'm gonna move, flip my potatoes over a little bit. They've gotten a little light golden brown. That's what you want. They don't all have to have color, but they're cooking just as well, so that's what we want. There's our potatoes. Meanwhile, we're cooking the meat. Now, it depends on how long you want to cook the meat. If you like medium rare, rare, it's gonna depend on how long we're gonna leave this in the oven. All right, I have really easy canned gravy. I, you know, we don't want to make this too complicated because you're going to have a lot of fun tonight. So I'm adding canned gravy to this, about half of a cup, and just bring that down to a simmer now. All right, ready to put this in the oven. This is going to go, I want this medium rare, so this is going to go in the oven about eight minutes. And I'm all set. Now I want to tell you about two nice ingredients we have here. I have sexy oysters, very sexy oysters. They come into the bottle or you can get them in a can. These are huge, but they're so nice. I can cut them up if you want. If they're really too big for you, you can always cut them up. But you got to cut them up when you're on the plate. 
Say, uh, oysters are great because they have zinc, and zinc, of course, gets you excited, but also great source of protein. So I've got the bottled oysters here. Those are really big ones. You can get smaller ones. Also, you can use smoked ones if you want. Or if you don't eat oysters, how about some oyster mushrooms? Try oyster mushrooms. You can get them in the produce section. Put those in like we're going to do. Our fillet is just about done. I want to show you what we're going to do right before we're going to plate this. All right, let's take this out of the oven. Wash your hands. So easy, right in the same pan, same pan right there. We have the gravy cooking and the potatoes. Nice. And our filet is nice and tender. It's about medium rare. We're ready to go. All right, now we're going to add our oysters in here. So if it's a big oyster, small oyster, you name it, put it right in there next to the beef. That's so decadent, but it's so good. I love oysters. If you don't like it, like I said, try the oyster mushrooms instead. Move that around. We're going to turn our... Our, our heat and our gravy is going to cook it already so we really need a lot of, of heat there and then we're going to add our carrot shreds put your carrot shreds in there we're going to mix that around with our gravy a little bit and that's going to be our veg and also some of our color so nice and gently move that around with your oysters just shake it up a little bit you got your potatoes all right move your oysters over just leave them in there a couple minutes Okay, they're kind of cooked. They're going to cook there in the, in the gravy. We got our filet all ready to go and our potatoes are cooked. Alright. Let's put some potatoes down first as our little base. A couple of them is nice to raise it up. Then of course you got your filet. Just lay that on there. Your filet. Then we've got our nice carrots, carrot ribbons. Now you can pile these up a little bit, give them a little drama if you want. There's our carrot strips. Now, the decadent oysters of course. Oh my god. The oysters are something. One big oyster like this is great. Even if it slides around a little bit, it's awesome. Next, we've got our sauce. You want a nice juice and sauce on the top from the oysters and also from the beef. If you want to put a little chopped parsley on here, you can. But this is all you need. You got the potatoes, nice rich gravy, and the filet. It doesn't take long to cook. 20 minutes or less. Well, this is like medium rare. I have the gravy, the potatoes. The oysters, which are really decadent. If you don't like oysters, you can use oyster mushrooms. That'll work. But I'm going to test my filet here. First, the oyster. That's my favorite. With the potato. A little bit of the filet. Nice and tender. However you want to cook it, it's up to you. If you want to have it medium rare, leave it in the oven about 6 to 8 minutes. Medium. 9 to 10 minutes and well done. It's going to be at least... 11 to 12 minutes. Kind of with that, 